Hello, welcome student to discuss about sets. Ano nga ba ang set? Set is a well-defined group of objects that shares a common characteristics. Always remember that sets are named by any capital letter. So you can use any letter in the English alphabet, ha? Next, each object in a set is called element of the set and it is denoted by this symbol. And lastly, element can only be written once and are enclosed by braces and separated by commas. Now, so now look at the example. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and we have 20. 20. And this is Chan. He was assigned to bring picture of any balls that found in their house. And lastly, this is Nicole. She was asked what color can be seen in a rainbow. And she told us to enumerate the imposter, you just think the acronym Roy G. V. Which means R for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, and V for violet. But you have observed in the given example. Did you know that that three examples are the example of set? Yes, that is a set. So let's go back to example number one, which is teacher share write down all the even numbers from 2 to 20. So we can call this set as a set of all even numbers from 2 to 20, consisting the element of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So they are well-defined set because obviously this element shares a common characteristics. Now next is John. So we can name the set as a set of balls brought by John because this is the balls that he brought from their house. That is basketball, baseball, soccer ball, tennis ball, and the volleyball. So this is a well-defined set because you listed all the elements. Lastly, this set, we can name it as a set of colors in a rainbow. And the elements of this set are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. This set is also a well-defined set. Now let's try to answer this. Could you make a set of a beautiful teachers? No. Why no? Because your list may be different from mine. Your idea of beauty is maybe different with others. So this is not a well-defined set. How about set of numbers less than 10? Hmm, what kind of numbers? Even numbers? Add numbers? Counting numbers? So that would be specific. So this is not well defined. However, if we can change it to set of counting numbers less than 10, yan, pwede na natin ibigay yung elements niya which is from 1 to 9. Another one? A basket of different delicious fruits. Hmm? Delicious fruits. Pwedeng masarap sa iyo sa akin hindi. So, this is also a uh, not well defined. Again, kailangan specific. So, change natin to. A basket of different fruits that the name starts with letter A. So, kaya na natin ibigay yan, which is atis, avocado, and apple. Let's go back to the first three example. As I said earlier, a set are named by any capital letter, and the elements can only be written once and are enclosed by braces and separated by a commas. So in this set, we can just simply write the capital letter here with the equal sign, and enclose the elements with braces. Use letter A in this problem. Next, I'm going to let B with the name of this set. So again, capital letter and enclose it in braces. 
same process for the last one. So let C or any letters in the alphabet and then enclose again in braces. So that's all for today. Next lesson, finite, infinite, and null set. Thank you for watching. In the previous video, we defined set and shared the following three sets. Una, set A containing the math materials na daladala ni Alex for their math activity. Pangalawa, set C containing the colors in the rainbow. At pangatlo, set E containing even numbers from 2 to 30. Kagaya ng sinabi natin last time, we generally name sets using uppercase or capital letters. Pagkatapos isulat ang letra, next to it is of course the equal sign. We then enclose the elements inside with braces. And our elements should be separated by commas. Now the way we write sets here mga pangga is actually called listing or roster method. Obviously, sa method na ito ay nililista lang natin ang elements ng set following the procedure we just mentioned. Now you may say, ang dali lang pala isulat ng sets using the listing or roster method. No sweat! Totoo po yan mga pangga. Pero may ilang mga bagay we also have to consider in writing sets using the listing or roster method. Let us now focus on the second set only. In this set, what if we interchange the colors orange and yellow? Did we just create another set? No. What about we change places, green and violet? Did we just create a different set? Again, the answer is no. So ano ang masasabi natin dito? This means the order of the elements in a set does not matter. Kahit ilang beses pa natin baguhin ang order ng colors dito, the result is we are still looking at the same set. So if we let set A be the set containing the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7, this will still be the same set even if it is written in another order or sequence, say 3, 5, 7, 1, or 7, 5, 3, 1. Again, order does not matter in writing the elements of a set using the listing or roster method. However, it is a good practice to write the elements in order, ascending ba or descending, or any other order na kung titignan mo at first glance, e maiintindihan mo na agad anong elements ang involved sa set. Take for example, if you write this set consisting of numbers or elements 2, 14, 6, 4, 12, 8, and 10, hindi agad mararecognize or mapapangalanan ng iba ang description ng set na gusto mong i-share. Pero if you write the elements in ascending order, it immediately becomes obvious that the set you are suggesting is the set containing the even numbers from 2 to 14. Yes! It is also better to write the set containing the vowels of the English alphabet in this order. Then writing it like this, di ba? Now moving forward, what if we are given with this set, named a set D? Mm, of course, we can tell right away that this is the set of days in a week. But what have you noticed here? Yes, I know kung ano ang niisip mo ngayon. The day Sunday is actually written twice. So is this a good way of writing the elements of a set? No. We have to bear in mind that each element of a set must be unique, meaning no element should be repeated. So to fix this, we write Sunday only once. Then we interchange Tuesday and Monday as well as Saturday and Thursday to further write this set appropriately. Again, each element of a set is unique. So each element should only appear once. 
This time, let's try to write the elements of the set of counting numbers from 1 to 1000. We'll name it a set N. Let's go! Nako, kailan pa kaya tayo matatapos nito? Huh! Makahinto nga saglit! Diba sometimes when we encounter a list that is too long to write, nakakakita tayo ng tatlong dots sa dulo, indicating that the list goes on and on. For example, a person was asked to write all animals na alam niya. So sinulat niya, cat, dog, elephant, rabbit, chicken, then three dots, showing that he got a long list na medyo matagal pa bago matapos. We can also use this same concept here. To write the elements of the set of counting numbers until 1000, we simply write first at least 3 numbers in order to establish a pattern. Then insert the 3 dots. Then write the last few numbers which are in this case I can write as 998, 999, and 1000. We call the three dots here ellipses. Napakalaki ng tulong ng symbol na to for us to save time in writing all the elements of a set. Also, if we want to write the set of all counting numbers, then we can just write 1, 2, 3, 4, then ellipses indicating that the set continues indefinitely. Now let's have a short recap of what we have just discussed. First off, we now realize that the way we write sets here and in the previous video is known as listing or roster method. In this method, we consider the following things. Una, the order of the elements does not matter. Pangalawa, each element of a set is unique, so there should be no repetition. At pangatlo, we write ellipses to keep away from writing long lists, therefore, we are able to save time in writing the elements of a set, or to indicate that a set goes on forever. So that's all for now. More videos about sets will be shared soon. So subscribe na mga pangga to get updated of our latest math videos. In the previous grade 7 math video, diniscuss natin one of the ways in writing the elements of a set, namely, roster method. We have learned that sets like these are written in listing or roster form. Here, we simply list the elements of a set without repetition. Also, in some sets, these three dots, called ellipses, are included para makasave tayo ng time in writing all of their elements. In this set, even if all numbers or elements are not written, we can immediately conclude that the rest of the numbers found in the middle are counting numbers from 4 to 97. This set is obviously composed of all counting numbers from 1 to 100. Dito naman, even if again hindi nakasulat lahat ng elements, we can directly tell that all of the elements sa gitna are letters from D to W. This set consists of all letters of the English alphabet. Again, we are able to save time in naming all the elements of a set. Cool! Now, ganyan talaga ang libangan ng mga mathematicians. They often try to simplify things through symbols. In these two examples, ang ellipses ang reason kaya naging mas madali ang pagsulat ng sets natin. But there are times that the presence of ellipses is not enough. Hindi rin sa lahat ng panahon ay bibigyan ka ni math teacher ng sets that can simply be written like this. Actually, may mga sets talaga na complicated tingnan and many are even difficult to write in listing or roster form. We regularly encounter simple sets like these. And I'm pretty sure, gusto mo yan kasi simple lang. But take a look at these sets. Oh no! See? As you go on sa grade 7 math lessons nyo, 
it is inevitable that you will encounter sets written in complicated form. Pero don't worry, our topic now will surely help you recognize those sets and even write those sets on your own. To do that, we will now study another way of writing sets, that is, rule method or set builder notation. Maybe ngayon, comfortable ka masyado in immediately writing the elements of a set. But later, you will realize that using the rule method or set builder notation is even better than the roster method in writing various forms of sets. Let's say that a set denoted by uppercase letter A is composed of all numbers greater than 0 but less than 100. Using the roster method, sinubukan mo isulat ang set na to as set A containing the elements 1 to 99. Kasi for you, 1 is the closest whole number that is greater than 0 and 99 is the closest whole number less than 100. Aha! You feel that you're right. Pero you know, ang sabi, numbers greater than 0. Therefore, pwede rin pala natin masulat before 1 ang mga numbers like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on. Simply because they are all greater than 0. Okay, but what about the decimals like 0 0.05, 0 0.12, 0 0.23, 0 0.25, di ba they are also greater than 0? Oh, where does it end? And what about the decimals or fractions in between? Aren't they greater than 0 too? So, suku ka na. You're now stuck. How are you going to express this set in roster form when you don't even know where to start? Voila! Dito na papasok sa eksena ang another form of writing sets called the rule method which is popularly known as set builder notation. Instead of enumerating all the elements of a set, gumagawa tayo ng short description in writing sets using the rule method or set builder notation. This description states the common properties that all the elements of a set must satisfy. So here's how we generally do it. Just like in the roster form, present din first ang uppercase letter, then equal symbol, and braces. Inside the braces, we put a variable first. In most cases, x ito, but this can be any other letter. Then put a vertical line or bar next to it. And finally, set the description of the elements of a set. And you're done! If you assign the uppercase letter A to a set, then we can read this as Set A is the set of all elements X such that X is bang! You state the description. So notice here that the corresponding word we utter for the equal symbol is the linking verb is. And the vertical line or bar is read as such that. Now let's have some examples. First, how can we write this set using the rule method or in set builder form? So from what we have learned, we put the uppercase letter A, the equal sign, and the braces. Then lagay tayo ng variable which is in this case, we write as X. Next to it is the vertical line or bar. And now you can finally form a short description dito. Now what description can we write here? Di ba obvious naman that these are all counting numbers? Therefore, we can write here, X is a counting number from 1 to 50. So ayan, the set is now written using the rule method or in set builder form. We can then read this as set A is the set of all elements X such that X is a counting number from 1 to 50. Now let's proceed to another example. 
set E consisting of these numbers. Again, we put first the uppercase letter E, as well as the equal sign. We then write brace and a variable which we still write here as X. Sunod ay ang bar, then the description. What can be our description here? Di ba these are even numbers? 2, 4, 6, and so on until you get to 100? So we can put here, X is an even number from 2 to 100. Then we enclose them within braces. Done! We can read this as, set E is the set of all elements X such that X is an even number from 2 to 100. Yes! So going back sa case natin kanina, we can write this as set A equals brace, X, then bar, X is greater than 0 but less than 100. Then we can read this as set A is the set of all elements X such that X is greater than 0 but less than 100. Problem solved! See, nahirapan tayo kanina in writing this set using the roster method, but madali lang siya using the set builder method. This shows gaano ka importante ang set builder notation in writing sets. Another example naman tayo. Let us express this set in set builder form. What have you noticed here? Mapapansin mo all of the letters of the English alphabet are present, except for the vowel letters A, E, I, O, and U. So in set builder form, we can write this as Set L is the set of all elements X such that X is a consonant letter of the English alphabet. Notice that the way the set here is written seems to be faster and simpler than writing it in roster form. So as I've said kanina, there are times that set builder form is easier to write than the roster one. Okay, so this time, let's have a quick twist. Try naman natin i-transform ang set builder form to roster form. Given this set written using the rule or set builder method, how can we write this using the roster method? So we have here, set M is the set of all elements X, such that X is a month that begins with letter J. Of course, we have 12 months, and makikita natin that only January, June, and July begin with letter J. So, ang roster form niya should be this. M equals the 3 months beginning with letter J are enclosed within braces. So, we have set M contains the elements January, June, and July. What about this set? Set N is the set of all elements X such that X is a whole number between 0 and 1000. Now since between ang ginamit na word, hindi included ang 0 and 1000. So in roster form, we can write this as set N containing these elements 1, 2, 3, and so on until 999. If from 0 to 1000 ang phrase na ginamit, we could have written this, which includes the elements or numbers 0 and 1000. So be extra careful so words na ginamit in the description part. Misinterpreting the descriptions will surely lead to error. Eto naman, set D is the set of all elements X such that X is a letter of the word mathematics. Recall na in writing the elements dapat walang repetition. Ang letters na present lang here ay M, A, T, H, E, I, C, and S. 
So in roster form, this should be the answer. Set D contains the elements M, A, T, H, E, I, C, and S. Yes! Now it's your turn. Try to express the following sets using the rule method or set builder notation. First is this set. Go! As you can see, ang mga elements na involved here are days of the week. Therefore, we can write this as set D is the set of all elements X such that X is a day of the week. Again, the uppercase letter here can be any other letter. So if you wrote W instead of D, you are still correct. What about this set? Go! Obviously, ang elements ng set dito ay colors na makikita natin sa rainbow. So here, we can write C equals brace. Instead of X, try naman natin another letter, say R. Followed by bar, then the description must be R is a color in the rainbow. We can read this as set C is the set of all elements R such that R is a color in the rainbow. Ito naman! Go! Immediately, you can recognize the elements here as whole numbers. So in set builder form, pwede natin itong masulat as set n is the set of all elements x such that x is a whole number from 1 to 124. But this is not only the valid answer. Di ba counting numbers din ang numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on until 124? Yes, therefore, we can also write this as set n is the set of all elements x such that x is a counting number from 1 to 124. Now come to think of this. We can also write this as set n is the set of all elements x such that x is a counting number less than 125. Note na ang counting number bago mag-125 is 124. Tapos ang least na counting number is 1. So this is also valid. Again, set n is the set of all elements x such that x is a counting number less than 125. Now siguro, you have answered this. Set n is the set of all elements x such that x is an integer from 1 to 124. The reason is that alam mo na kung ano ang mga integers from your grade 6 lessons. Aha! Is this correct? Is this also valid? Yes, yes. Pwede rin ito. Set n is the set of all elements x such that x is an integer from 1 to 124. Because these numbers, aside from being members of the sets of counting numbers and whole numbers, ay integers din. Now, can we also write here, set n is the set of all elements x such that x is an integer less than 125? No! Kasi integers which are less than 125 include 0 and the negative of counting numbers. Tapos, sa set natin, ang minimum o ang lowest na number is 1. So, hindi pwede. So, what lesson can we learn from these answers here? We have learned that we can express sets using the set builder notation in different ways, provided na ang description will still fit to the elements we are concerned with. 
So kahit na ginamit natin dito, counting numbers, whole numbers, or integers ay walang problema kasi nagsatisfy naman sa description ang given na element sa set. This one naman. Go! So it is clear from the given set that these are all whole numbers starting from 5 until infinity. Also, they are integers and counting numbers. So following the pattern of our answers kanina, in set builder form, we can write this as set W is the set of all elements X such that X is first pwede whole number greater than 4. Klaro naman di ba that whole numbers 5 and up are all greater than 4. Now you may be highly familiar with phrases greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. So maybe you have answered this. Set W is the set of all elements X such that X is a whole number greater than or equal to 5. Yes, pwede rin to. Greater than here represents the whole numbers from 6 and up. Tapos equal to 5 pa. So kasama ka talaga sa set. Nagsatisfy ang description. Kaya again, this is also correct. Again, following the pattern of our answers in the previous set, we can also write here, Set W is the set of all elements X such that x is an integer greater than 4 or set w is the set of all elements x such that x is a counting number greater than 4 and since greater than or equal to 5 is also valid these are also correct set w is the set of all elements x such that x is an integer greater than or equal to 5. Set W is the set of all elements X such that X is a counting number greater than or equal to 5. So as long as our description fits the given elements, we are fine. What about this set? Go! Claro dito that these are all odd numbers from 7 to 55. So we can express this in set builder form as set i is the set of all elements x such that x is an odd number from 7 to 55. What if ito ang naging answer mo? Set i is the set of all elements x such that x is an odd number between 6 and 56. Is this correct too? Let's try to include here a number line. What is the first odd number after 6? Yes, it's 7. On the other hand, what is the closest odd number na makikita natin just before 56? Yes, it's 55. Meaning, this description is also valid. So it is correct. So if ito ang naging answer mo, you are also correct. What if someone also answered this? Tama rin ba to? We ask again, what is the first odd number after 5? Yes, 7 pa rin. What is the closest odd number before 57? Yes, it's 55. So this description is still valid. So we can also write the given set here as set i is the set of all elements x such that x is an odd number between 5 and 57. What about this? Pwede rin ba to? Set i is the set of all elements x such that x is an odd number between this time 4 and 58. 
we ask na naman. What is the first odd number after 4? It's 5. Then what is the closest odd number na makikita natin before 58? It's 57. So instead of 7 and 55 na target natin, 5 and 57 na ang naging least and highest odd numbers dito, respectively. So what should be our conclusion here? This means the description does not fit our set unlike the previous two descriptions na binigay natin. Thus, this set builder form is wrong. Again, as you can see, as long as the description fits the elements of our set, ang set builder notation na makikreate natin is valid. Grabe na po ang emphasis mga pangga. So, imposibleng makalimutan mo ang concepts na ini-introduce now dito. How about this? Go! So, we can see here na ang difference ng bawat pair of consecutive numbers is 3. Also, 3 times 5 equals 15. 3 times 6 equals 18. 3 times 7 equals 21. And so on. Until 3 times 31 equals 93. 3 times 32 equals 96. And 3 times 33 equals 99. Meaning, these numbers are actually multiples of 3. So in set builder form, we can write this as... Set P is the set of all elements X such that X is a multiple of 3 from 15 to 99. Or, just like few of our previous examples, pwede rin to, set P is the set of all elements X such that X is a multiple of 3 between 14 and 100. You can again write other descriptions basta fit po ang elements natin. You can give your own answers then sa comment section. So we have just discussed rule method or set builder notation. And you have just practiced writing sets applying it. Pero so far, we have dealt with sets na medyo madali lang isulat in set builder form. What about yung medyo complicated ang pagkasulat just like what you have seen a while ago? To get acquainted with those sets, level up tayo ng konti mga pangga. So get ready. We will approach this slowly para hindi masyado tayo mahirapan, lalo na those who are struggling sa topic na to. Note na ang mga sumusunod na pagkakasulat in set builder form ay hindi masyadong discuss sa preliminary set topics in your grade 7 learner's material or maybe in your latest module. The reason is, ang real number system, which is composed of the sets of numbers na usual nating minimension like whole numbers, counting numbers, integers, and wider sets of numbers ay later pa ang full talaga na discussion. So it is quite understandable. However, gusto kong i-discuss ito now so that meron na kayong background when you encounter further those sets of numbers and you won't be that shocked when you run into sets na iba na ang pagkasulat compared to what you have learned in writing sets using roster and set builder forms. So without further ado, let's get into it. We begin by introducing first the following symbols for element and three popular sets of numbers. Una, this symbol which resembles the lowercase Greek letter epsilon stands for element. Then uppercase letter N stands for the natural numbers or counting numbers. Uppercase letter W naman stands for whole numbers. And uppercase letter Z stands for integers. If may plus sign siya sa taas, only positive integers lang ang involved. Pag negative naman ay negative integers lang ang involved. So, pag binigyan tayo ng set containing the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, we can conclude that 5 is an element of this set. And we can write it as 5, insert the symbol resembling lowercase epsilon, 
then this set. If we let this set as set B, we can also write this, which we can read as 5 is an element of set B. Great! So noting this as well as our symbol for natural or counting numbers, which is uppercase letter N, etong C equals 1, 2, 3, 4 until infinity written in roster form, and C equals X such that X is a counting number written in set builder form, can also be simply written like this, which we can read as set C is the set of all elements X, such that X is an element of natural numbers. This is still in set builder form, but this is shorter, right? As what I have said, ganito talaga sa math. Alam natin that mathematicians always find ways to represent things in symbols to make things or solutions easier and faster to manipulate. Now what about the set of whole numbers which can be written as A equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 until infinity, enclosed within braces in roster form, and A equals X such that X is a whole number in set builder form. Using the symbols we have here, we can also simply write this as A equals X such that X, then epsilon-like symbol, then W enclosed within braces, which we can read as set A is the set of all elements X such that X is an element of whole numbers. This is again in set builder form, pero shorter. Notice, ang difference lang ng dalawang sets na to ay ang whole numbers merong zero, while ang natural or counting numbers walang zero. In other words, whole numbers start with zero, while natural or counting numbers start with one. Now, what about the set of integers? We can write the set of integers like this, in roster form, and this using the rule method or set builder notation. But again, using our symbols here, we can also simply write this as i equals x such that x, epsilon-like symbol, z enclosed within braces, which we can read as set i is the set of all elements x such that x is an element of integers. Again, set builder form pa rin ito but shorter. And makikita natin that this time, Sa integers, included na ang negative ng whole numbers. So mapapansin mo at first, these symbols seem vague or mahirap intindihin at an initial glance. Pero if alam mo ang ibig sabihin ng mga symbols, ay mas magiging madali na for you magsulat ng sets. This time, lagyan na natin ng additional conditions or restrictions ang sets. Kasi of course, hindi naman pwede na set of whole numbers, natural or counting numbers, or integers lang ang ibibigay palagi sa'yo ni math teacher. 